this storm system is still several days out. We know for a fact Florida is going to be hit hard. They're already getting rain. They're already getting flooding. They're already getting tornadoes. The wind is going to pick up there, but this storm system is going to move northward. It will change character. The forecast is going to change some. It always does when you're looking out three, four, five days. So bear with us. Stick with WBTV and our meteorologists and our weather team because we're going to give you the very latest that we have. And as we do, you'll be able to make better plans and have make better decisions based on that forecast. And it will get fine tuned as we go through time. Right now, we're kind of looking at a big scope, but as we get closer to this event, we're going to narrow that scope and we'll just be able to provide you more and more critical information and detailed forecasts. Well, I'll say this. I think anytime you have a landfalling hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, you always have to be concerned in our part of the world. The bigger coverage usually is the ones that come in from the Atlantic, but it's the ones in the Gulf of Mexico that have a tendency to come up closer to the inland part of the Carolinas, which is where we live, and they can have big impacts, even if they're in a weakened state. Even if it's a tropical storm and not even a hurricane, I have seen year in and year out where these bring big rains to our mountain counties especially, and then of course all that water flows down towards the Piedmont. And I've also seen lots of wind. We sometimes get tornado threats with these kind of systems. So yes, this is gonna be a huge problem for Florida, but we can't let our guard down because what happens there eventually usually comes northward. Just because it's going to hit Florida doesn't mean that the storm is just going to dissolve and dissipate. These things may weaken as they cut away from their source of strength, which is the warm water of the Gulf of Mexico. As they come northward, they kind of lose some of those characteristics and some of that feeding mechanism. But they still have a lot of rain with them, and they can still have a lot of wind and even severe weather. So all of those elements are still sort of in play around here, particularly the rain risk. Certainly in the mountains and foothills where you have higher elevation and that water tends to roll downhill and can really impact those communities in those watersheds. That's one issue. The other issue is you look at Charlotte. I've been here almost 30 years. Charlotte started as this. Now Charlotte has become this where there's concrete and asphalt everywhere. And so water has no place to go. And so it collects in these storm basins. And typically when we get these big events where we can get several inches of rain, we normally get urban flooding and it doesn't take much. Even though we haven't had a drop of rain around here in two and a half weeks, it won't take much to get flooding in these urban areas. So again, mountains and foothills, one thing because of the terrain, but in the urban areas such as Charlotte and the larger towns and cities around here, we also can get that same kind of flooding, but for different reasons because of the concrete and the asphalt. Right now, again, this is an early, early call. We're looking at the potential for perhaps three to maybe as much as six inches of rain. Now, that's not all at once. It might be spread out from Friday through Sunday or even Monday, but we think the bulk of that would come during the day on Saturday based on the current model day that we're seeing now. So again, the first alerts are in play, a first alert weather day for Saturday in particular because there's an element there where we have severe weather potential we have strong gusty winds and of course we have heavy rain. So all of those things coming together, that checks off for us. It's a first alert weather day. Hard to say, but that amount of rain, especially if it comes in a short period of time, if we get heavy bands to come up and we don't get breaks, which sometimes happens with these tropical systems, it could lead to pretty quick flooding. So don't know where that would be yet. So my, my advice would be to our viewers, know your risk. The creek, the stream behind you may be low right now, but because we have a large amount of rain that's probably going to fall over a couple of days period, those creeks and streams are going to rise quickly. And urban areas, the same thing, because there isn't as many places for that water to go now. We have a lot of concrete and asphalt, so again, it's not going to take much. So I would just, again, advise our viewers and warn them, that's what the first alert's all about, to put this on your radar screen where would we go if flooding comes? What would we have to protect? What do we need to do? Where is the rain now? Where is it coming? Where, or how is it getting good here? Um, I would also be concerned about um, just again, knowing your environment. The creek behind you may be totally dry now, but it can come up and it can come up fast. If it does, what are you gonna do? What if you get a flash flood warning in the middle of the night? Where are you going to go? So we wanna urge folks to stay weather aware. Download our weather app. That's got notifications on there and it will give you warning right away. So you'll know what to do if it happens in your area.